So the Coliseum of Lethbridge is uh, it's exciting, it's fun. Uh, we got laser tag, it's our main attraction. Uh, we also have a few different uh, archery activities. The Nerf arena, where you can uh, have combats with uh, the Nerf guns that we provide. Obviously, we wanted to have as many people as, as we could um, at a time in the space, um, which brings up a whole new set of, of issues that we need, like parking outside, um, even the ventilation systems have to be meet a certain code. Bathrooms have to meet a certain code. We have to have enough floor space. Um, location was key, and then even the cost of it is, is something that was a factor as well. This one was amazing. It, uh, it had everything. We really had to do very little other than build out our arenas um, to make it work for us. Bink was always right there. He paid attention to our questions. Um, like. We'd ask a question and the next day or the, or the day after at the very latest, he was back to us with a response. This was a pretty unique transaction. The space was kind of set up for a warehouse user, um, but Lance was a, a classified as an amusement user in the, in the city's eyes. So the space still worked out pretty good because there was some office area in the front that he could utilize as well as, uh, you know, just having that big open floor plan you know, space to be creative in the in the back, so it, it, uh, it worked out pretty good. And there's nobody else in the city doing that type of a, an event or venue, and I'm sure it's gonna be a success for him. Avis and Young would be the top of the list. I'd definitely go there first. We've been super happy with them.